널 만난 건 해운이야. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade. Nearly 50 people have been arrested. Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland. There were two entertaining games earlier. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana, while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. The former Chinese president, Jiang Zemin, has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. They'll oversee the match between Costa Rica and Germany. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified. With some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. With some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. With some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. Calling for President Xi Jinping to step down calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade. Nearly 50 people have been arrested.
Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade. Nearly 50 people have been arrested. Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade. Nearly 50 people have been arrested. Police across Europe say... Police across Europe say... Police across Europe say... They've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. They've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. They've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive. And said it was behind. And said it was behind. And said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade about a third of the continent's cocaine trade about a third of the continent's cocaine trade Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade. Nearly 50 people have been arrested. Nearly 50 people have been arrested. Nearly 50 people have been arrested. Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland. There were two entertaining games earlier. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana, while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland. There were two entertaining games earlier. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana, while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland. There were two entertaining games earlier. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana, while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup. Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup. Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland there were two entertaining games earlier. There were two entertaining games earlier. There were two entertaining games earlier. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana. While Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. While Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. While Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all, South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana, while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all, South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana, while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. The former Chinese president, Jiang Zemin, has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. 
He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. At the age of 96. At the age of 96. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. The former Chinese president Jiang Zemin has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping. In the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. In the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. In the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage. For more than a decade. For more than a decade. For more than a decade. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. They'll oversee the match between Costa Rica and Germany. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. They'll oversee the match between Costa Rica and Germany. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. They'll oversee the match between Costa Rica and Germany. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today. For the first time in the history of the men's tournament. For the first time in the history of the men's tournament. For the first time in the history of the men's tournament. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. They'll ever see the match. They'll ever see the match. They'll ever see the match between Costa Rica and Germany. Between Costa Rica and Germany. Between Costa Rica and Germany. They'll ever see the match between Costa Rica and Germany. They'll ever see the match between Costa Rica and Germany. They'll ever see the match between Costa Rica and Germany. Protests in China against the government's strict COVID measures there have intensified, with some people publicly venting their anger at leaders of the Communist Party. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of Shanghai, calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. The BBC saw people being bundled into police cars. Police across Europe say they've dismantled a huge drugs cartel. Europol described the scale of the group's operations as massive and said it was behind about a third of the continent's cocaine trade. Nearly 50 people have been arrested.
Brazil have qualified for the knockout stages of the Football World Cup with a 1-0 victory over Switzerland. There were two entertaining games earlier. South Korea lost 3-2 to Ghana, while Serbia and Cameroon drew 3 all. The former Chinese president, Jiang Zemin, has died in Shanghai at the age of 96. Jiang Zemin took over from Deng Xiaoping in the aftermath of the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. He presided over China's dramatic rise in prosperity and influence on the world stage for more than a decade. An all-female referee team will take to the pitch at the Qatar World Cup later today for the first time in the history of the men's tournament. They'll oversee the match between Costa Rica and Germany.